Hello, I'm Neil Moore, General Manager with Allied Waste. Welcome to the Sycamore Landfill. Since the beginning of time, we have needed a place to put our trash. And since 1962, the Sycamore Landfill has been managing the trash needs of San Diego. The Sycamore Landfill also recycles your green waste. So remember to keep your green waste separated from your trash. Before we head up to the landfill, let's remember that safety is our first priority here at Sycamore. So let's put on our vest and our hard hat and go explore the landfill. The Sycamore Landfill is open Monday through Saturday and takes only non-hazardous municipal solid waste and green waste. Trash and greens from all over San Diego County find their way to the Sycamore Landfill. You've heard about the kinds of waste we take at Sycamore. Now let me tell you a little about what we do here, how we manage your refuse, and what the future holds. Before entering the landfill, scale operators ask each customer about the waste stream they are carrying and where it is from. In addition, scale operators conduct a load check or screening to determine if a customer is carrying any prohibited waste or recyclables. This safety measure is important since the Sycamore Landfill does not permit hazardous waste and it helps to keep recyclable materials out of the landfill. You know, landfills aren't just about taking trash. They're also built to protect the surrounding environment by protecting groundwater, managing stormwater, and capturing landfill gas and greenhouse gas emissions. Here at this energy plant, we capture landfill gas and produce electricity. We supply enough electricity for 3,000 homes in the surrounding community. Hard rocks are an issue at the landfill. That's why Sycamore has a major aggregate operation ongoing on site to extract the material from the landfill to be used for highways and other beneficial community projects. With the high demand for aggregate material, Sycamore is doing its part to keep costs for this valuable material at a minimum. As the region grows, so does the need for space to recycle green waste and wood waste. Here at the Green Waste Operation Area, we have a machine called a tub grinder, which grinds the material into a mulch. We can use that mulch for erosion control, for soil amendment, and also to cover the waste at the end of each day. This is important not only to the site, but also to the cities that receive recycling credits for the material that they bring here to the landfill. With the state requiring us to recycle at least 50% of our waste stream, our efforts here at the landfill are important for here, but also for the region. So how do we prepare the ground to accept the trash? First, we grade the site. After that, we build what's called a composite liner. That composite liner is made up of two feet of clay, either imported or native, and then on top of that, place the high-density polyethylene plastic liner. On top of that, we build a drainage layer. That drainage layer is meant to protect the groundwater below. It acts to collect any liquid that might have come in contact with the waste and allows us to collect it and treat it off-site at a wastewater treatment plant. On top of the drainage layer, we place protective soil cover in two-foot lifts, and then waste is brought in and placed on top of that. The other thing is we have to line the side slopes, and that is a very meticulous job. The soil is excavated from the side slopes and then recompacted, made smooth, so there's no rough edges, no rocks, no materials that could poke a hole or puncture our liner. The material is pulled down the side slopes and then welded. As you can imagine, at these slopes, it's a difficult process. You'll see our workers repel down the side slopes with the machine to seam because that same performance of welding and seaming the liner together on the bottom has to be done on the sides. We have a separate engineering firm that supervises the construction of this liner system. They actually cut out sections of the liner and send it to an outside lab that places the materials in a device that tries to tear the seam apart. If you look closely here, you can see in the middle of the seam or the weld is an air pocket. One of the tests that we do to assure that this material is seamed together properly is in this tiny air pocket, we're able to put a hypodermic needle and a pressure gauge, and we can pressurize this seam. And by holding the pressure, we know that the two 
pieces of plastic were melted together properly without any leaks. That's one of the tests we do to make sure that the liner is secure over the entire area of the landfill. And that is all documented in a quality assurance test that is submitted to the agencies before we can bring in any waste into this area. Now that I've explained how we protect the environment while disposing of your trash, come on and I'll show you how we manage your trash. Here we are, this is where it all happens. This is where your trash goes. At the landfill, the area where residents dispose of their trash is kept separate from where commercial trucks unload their trash. Landfill operators take great care in managing your trash. As each load is disposed, a dozer and compactor crush the waste down to maximize space. At the end of each day, the waste is covered with dirt or green waste material. The Sycamore Landfill has managed your trash for over 45 years. Looking into the future development of the site, we plan to redesign the existing landfill to add an additional 35 years of life, redesign the front entrance by moving the scales and administrative offices, redesign Mass Boulevard by adding additional traffic lanes, build a new Citizens Recycling Center, a composting operation, and a construction and demolition recycling facility for such debris as concrete, wood, and asphalt. Operate 2 a.m. to 5 p.m. to manage traffic during peak traffic times. Increase daily levels of trash accepted to address long-term waste needs. Well, I hope you enjoyed your tour of the Sycamore Landfill. I had fun giving you the inside look at how your trash is managed. But please remember to recycle and join us in protecting today's environment for a better tomorrow.